just had a affair. The lady was talking to me about her ex-boyfriend. She said um, she broke up from her boyfriend because he was um, very controlling. He wanted her to send photos of where she where she goes. She, yeah, she wanted to send photos of where he goes, where she is all the time, who she's with, all that kind of thing. So she in turn started to do it to him. And eventually it got too much. She said, this is not me. It's not who I am. It's not what I want to be. So she called it a day. She said the only reason she put up with that because it's her father. She saw her father do the same thing to her mum and she thought that's how relationships work. But now she knows different. She said she's a fool. She should have seen it coming and realised it's, um, realized it's unacceptable. I thought for a moment. I said to her, well... It's all part of the journey of life. And unless your parents have sat you down or your she had older siblings who are like 50, she's in her early 30s. Unless someone sat you down and explained to you about certain basic things of relationships, and why would you necessarily know? She agreed. And then there was a pause. And I said, I met someone a while ago and they were saying to me how we attract who we are to energy. I can't remember the terminology and maybe in this case it's something that we need to reflect on ourselves to change it. This person who I was talking about was at a party and they they just weren't happy with the environment that was around her and the people and what was being spoken. But then she, when she looked at herself she, see, she saw all those characteristics in herself one way or another so she decided to start to change herself. Now, the lady went on to explain that she started taking cocaine and weed since she's had this, her ex, and she never used to do that, but now, then it starts to make her feel good, and now she's kind of, you could say, addicted. She does it every night to go to sleep and has a good night of sleep. I subsequently explained that, yeah, it take 28 days to remove a habit, um, to, so for something to become a habit, and... So it's going to take another 28 days to remove that habit, but you've got to change a habit with a habit. My question to you guys is, what habits have you taken on? And what is it about yourself that you don't like?